first alert weather with meteorologist Eric Weglars. So it's a cloudy, more on the humid side, at least humid starts in the morning. Now we are getting some sunshine by this afternoon, so don't worry. Things won't be as dreary as they are right now. Temperatures in Burlington are in the lower 60s, 64 right now. Again, the rain has helped things cool down a few degrees this morning. But again, the dew points are in the lower 60s, giving it again that bit of an uncomfortable feel to the air. And many spots remain in the low to mid 60s, 66 in Montpelier, 65 in Rutland. But things across portions of southern Vermont and southeastern Vermont have cooled into the upper 50s. So it's not bad this morning and we are tracking some showers and even some thunderstorms moving across the region. Kind of odd to think about for the first time in the morning uh, that you wake up to a thunderstorm, but there are a few out there. Saranac Lake seeing a downpour, maybe even a rumble of thunder or two as it moves towards the south and the east towards Elizabethtown. South and west of Redford, another one beginning to move at you. And then we go into portions of northwestern Vermont, Sheldon, Swanton, up towards Franklin seeing some downpours this morning. Nothing too heavy, at least as of right now. So hints of sunshine today give away to some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. And then the Vermont City Marathon does look dry. So that's the the high note of the weekend, I think, in terms of our forecast here. So this morning, Futurecast is a good job moving through a good portion of these showers quickly. Now, by this afternoon, notice portions of central and southern Vermont actually see some sunshine and a lot of it. So I think parts of the day feature some sun and then look what happens by this afternoon. One o'clock, if you're near Plattsburgh, you're seeing some strong thunderstorms potentially moving through and then those make a run towards the Northeast Kingdom. Notice that this is four o'clock here. Some of these darker reds indicating that might be a strong to locally severe thunderstorm as it moves towards the south and the east. And then by this evening, we're left with some scattered showers. So for today, the forecast calls for the middle and upper 70s, even the lower 80s towards Port Henry and Ticonderoga, 70 in Plattsburgh, 72 in Malone. Across portions of northern Vermont, we are in the mid to upper 70s, the lower 80s in Plymouth and Grafton, 79 though in Burlington and towards the south. The mid and upper 80s, even 90 in Keene, 81 though in Ludlow, 77 in Peru and 84 expected in Arlington. Future cast tomorrow, shows that the marathon should and will mainly be dry for a good chunk of it. There may be a few scattered showers that initially touch off, but those move and stay towards the north. So I think that the marathon is dry. There are some hints of sunshine in the afternoon on Sunday, and we're left with a mainly dry finish to the day. So again, peaks of sun by the early finishers on the marathon, and then some peaks of sunshine remain as temperatures climb close to 70 degrees by the early afternoon on Sunday. Your five day forecast looks pretty good after Memorial Day. There will be some showers on Memorial Day. Most of it will be dry. We go from the lower 70s on Tuesday to the mid 80s on Thursday with some late day clouds. Friday and Saturday, we're watching what's left of Alberto. It may make a run at the region. It will be in the way of showers. Nothing too tropical, don't worry. <laughs> don't, uh, don't be alarmed by any means. And then for next weekend, we're back to the mid 70s with more sunshine.